ladies and gents, we are back. Um, I went ahead and bought the Mellow 8s. They were 500 and um, got these pants. They were 50 so just spent 550 on the outfit. Can't really afford anything, so I can't really buy anything. Right now, I'm, I'm kind of broke. And um, where is the companion app for this damn game? I usually, usually have an app for the game. I thought you could check those shoes out. But let's jump next. Let's go jump straight into the next game about the, the Cleveland Cavaliers playing against LeBron, baby. Bron, Bron. Tough matchup tonight. We could very well end up facing these guys in the postseason. So it's important to learn what we can and show them we're not about to back down. If we get it done here, It'll give us that much more confidence if we see them again. The stakes are raising every day at this point, so I better man up. We got NBA basketball in store for you here at Quicken Loans Arena in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. And boy, tatted boy. Live on 2K Sports, the excitement of the NBA is on the way. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Kyrie Irving, he struggles to defend players with the ball press. It'll be the call from the screen. John Hempson, Chris Middleton comes in for Honda Takumbo. Vasquez, he's checked in for O.J. Mayer. And Freak subbed in for Michael Carter-Williams. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. Freak, he's in at point guard. Greg what do you guys think about... um? Then it's Chris Middleton, and it's Vasquez in at the two. Oh, he blocked me from getting the um getting the block. My teammate blocked me. What do you guys think about um Vic's um rant earlier in the last episode? And Clark, he's been that way really his entire career, going back to high school. Yeah, his game is low to the ground too. No oh, nice. He takes you on nice. Skill, good footwork, smooth shot, sharp passer, and an excellent IQ. Irving kicks to love. No, you don't, buddy. I get around those. And the powerful one-handed slam. All of my eyes, my eyes bleeding. damage to that rim than that when he wants to. And you know, Clark, with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Me too. Well, well I'll tell you what, I'm glad he didn't because otherwise we'd probably have a 45. No, that was a bad shot. I pressed it way too early, released it way too early. On the backboard. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's dude, come on, man, you got to go up with him. You've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds, and um, they look strong here in the early going. Stolen by Vasquez. And here we fast break. Freaks got it. Shots good by Middleton. And a sharp pass to set up that high percentage shot in close. The Cavaliers leading by six. LeBron outside. LeBron, Bron. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can. He Damn, I had the ball. Back to Middleton. Goaltended and one, baby. Foul and one. Go to the free throw line. That's their third straight make off an assist. <laughs> Great ball movement. A different look now for Cleveland. Anderson Verajau's checked in for Love. Jefferson comes in for James. And it's a nine jumper in for Irving. And that one falls for Middleton. We talk about players that don't get a lot of recognition that probably deserve some. For me, Chris Middleton, Clark. He's at the top of the list in that regard for me too, Kevin. I mean, really a revelation for the Bucks the last couple of years. He's a really good all-around forward who can do everything well. Shepard gets a wide-open look. Sinks the triple. Shepard's got himself going with the triple. His first basket. Can I get another three? By six. There's Freak. Ah, thought I had back, back to back, back to back, yeah. And Shepard kicks to Jefferson. Here's Tom. what? We didn't get that rebound. Good work defensively by Monroe. If they could end every possession with that shot. Oh, I thought that went in. Nine times out of ten. Thought that went in. Oh, we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. No shortage of offense. Cavaliers lead by six. 
And of course, as we've always seen with LeBron James, it's not just about the numbers, but his tremendous... Okay, so they didn't do his hairline injustice in this one. On other games, they you cheat. I'm putting all the pressure on me to, to be better and come through for my teammates. This is the position I put myself in. It's the position I put our team in. And as the leader and the guy that goes out there and make things happen, um, that's the way it's going to be. Straight talk from a man who does not pretend LeBron James with a textbook example how to take responsibility and lead. And Kevin, that's why he is the king. He, he doesn't say, hey, I'm just one of the five guys. No, he knows. Okay, we're closer now. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Detroit. Okay, but it didn't deter him from attacking defensively. His pressure was terrific. He also got three steals in that game. And a chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Pistons put on a show. He had 12 points. Dang, I thought I got it. From a pair of lines, hitting from both beyond the arc and from the charity strike. Overall, just an incredible bonus for his team as he made a big impact coming off the bench. All right, thanks so much, Doris. What a great report and what a jaw-dropping performance that was, guys. I couldn't believe what I was thinking. There you go, baby. A hard act to fight Lace front. Here you know what? But as good as he was, it's hard to think there won't be at least there you go. sort of carryover effect, guys. I mean, he still has to be riding pretty hot. For the Milwaukee Bucks, they won their last contest. That game against the Pistons at the Palace of Auburn Hill. Uh, three steals in my last game. To perfection in that one. Uh, very few possessions were wasted. Yeah, they put the mute button on him that time. I mean, you thought he was going to get away. Never let the fans get going. They silence. I hate when they do that and don't rotate back over, yo. And we've seen this offense step back into three-point land a little bit more in this quarter. For better or worse, and it looks like the latter. I mean, those threes not really falling. Yet. There you go. Good job. Good job. Oh, the turnaround jumper. That was just beautiful. Cleveland's got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. Oh, a four. Nice. I like how that sound. Keep it that way. Outside Irving. No way. No way. You don't have the range, bro. You don't have the range. I'm just playing. He got the range. In the second quarter, right at the 50% mark from the field. Here's Vasquez. Get off me, bro. Nice. We needed that. Vasquez has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Irving passes to Love. Why are you, why are you giving me a screen? I don't have the ball. He don't have the ball. That's Look at that easy bump he did. His third shot off to a fast two for three. Now, I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him. That the guy who just got bumped off of him. The defenders. Monroe. Good D by Thompson. All the defender had to do there was just stay close. That's it. And for Kyrie Irving, it had been a long time coming. Last season, he finally played in his first postseason with the Cavs. And up until the unfortunate injury, he certainly made the most of it. Both free throws, good from Kyrie Irving. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. The shot's good from Henson. And just a step ahead of the D in that possession there. Yeah, defense didn't do anything. It was too late. James dishes to Love from deep three point range. Wow, that is Kevin Love. I forgot though. From three point range. Yeah, and when you've got a big man who can shoot from distance like that, what a huge advantage. Freak kicks to Henson. Middleton against James. Middleton the pass to Freak. Let's it go from deep. Friendly bounce. Oh, got it. Freak's got it all tied up now for the Bucks, And they're just raining three. Friendly bounce. Oh, I love the answer. You come at me with the three, I'm coming right back with my own triple. And so it's tied as we head to halftime. Those waves, though. Doris Burke standing by on the sideline. Doris. Gentlemen, I'm over here with Tristan Thompson. And after that first half, Tristan, what's the plan going to be for this second half? Well, it's simple. It's going to be a dogfight. You know, they got big guys, true bigs, and we got to come out, play hard, and not let up. You have to have plenty of bark in a dogfight, Tristan. Thank you. Guys? All right, Doris, thank you. And
Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. Kevin. Stealing Pavilion, Old and Flick. Naman Shumpert has checked in for Smith, and Mo Williams subbed in for Irving. A big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Jabari Parker's checked in for. Why about him so high? Wilson comes in for Greg Monroe. Vasquez, he's checked in for OJ Mayo. And Freak subbed in for Carter Williams. The forwards are. Gotta check Vasquez, boy. You wouldn't buy me so hard. And it's very Zhao. He's wide open. For Cleveland right now. How are we still losing? We're just tied up, weren't we? Williams with a clean look. Ah, he got the friendly bounce. The front iron. Williams has got eight points here in this quarter. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. It's a bounce pass, first of all, unless they change a the button. But that was a bounce pass. Defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. The screen from Thompson. Why are both of y'all checking him? I'm confused. Side jumper. Vera Zhao setting the pick for Shumper. Five on the clock. Got him to jump. And it's Freak with the rebound. And the steal, boy. Right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump. Oh my god, I got a rebound right back. No. Lucky he couldn't punish them for. Here's Thompson. And it's Freak with the rebound. What? Freak's got three rebounds. The ball went. The drive by James. No good from 11 feet. It could go. Why would we just shoot that? <laughs> what is he trying to drive it for? And that does it for the it makes no sense. Offensively as we approach the it's like one second left. He's going to try to drive it. Just shoot it, bro. Well, welcome back as we get set to start the fourth. And so it's Cleveland. Get me in the game, coach. Oh, my God. We're down by nine, though. The 30 seconds left. For them to come back now. Yeah, far too much work left to be done and not nearly enough time to get it done in. And he gives that rim a good... Plumley. That's how you drive your point home. Uh, I tell you what, he's lucky on that one that he got away with maybe not picking up a tee. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. That I stole that. Ooh, I almost had that one. If it was a little bit close, I would have got it. Who's he passing the ball to? Okay. Here's Shumpert. Great D that time from Middleton. And we see the Cavaliers get it's like five rebounds in one game. A little closer than they would have liked it, but Clark a win nonetheless. Yeah, it appeared to me as though the fans gave them the emotional boost they needed down the stretch, Kevin. This crowd. Not bad. Lost by six. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Kevin, you guys had a tremendous second half. What were the things that had to happen to win this game? No, we all contributed tonight, and if we have a well-balanced, you know, scoring and uh, we're efficient on both ends, we usually end up winning the game. And you know, like you said, the second half was big for us tonight. It takes five guys to win it in the NBA. Kevin, thanks for your time. Back to the table. Doris, thank you as always. Thank you for joining the 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now we have the opportunity to present our Jordan Player of the Game. LeBron James. Kevin. Oh, okay. You know what, Ernie? I must admit it. I didn't see this kind of performance coming from him tonight. He's been coming off a stretch of game where he just looked lost out there. To see him turn around this quickly, it's a nice surprise. Play after play, he was getting after it, making plays, and making it look easy. How much would every team like to have a big man who's able to do the things that Kevin Love does? He can play close to the bucket. He can spot up from long range, pass, drive the lane, rebound, you name it. I'm glad he didn't hold back tonight. He let it all hang out. And that'll do it for tonight. For Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and our illustrious 2K Sports crew. I don't think they... Johnson. Have a good night. Everybody. Did they change suits from the last time? I think Shaq thing is still the same. Ernie's is still the same. No, Kevin the Jet. Kevin is thing's still a shame. But it's, I think his shirt is different. Shaq's shirt is different color or pattern. I'm not sure.
Cece. Hey, how are you? Good to see you again. My pleasure. Freak. Great game last night. That's what I do, right? Indeed, have a seat. Pagnotti. How you doing? Thought you'd be selling used cars. Huh. Honey, honey, comedian. I thought you would have invested in some new clothes, being a team owner and all. I see you still rocking that goodwill look. Freak, what are you hanging around with this guy for? You know he's bad company, right? Got no choice. He helps me pay the bills. Plus, our mother loves him. Thank you all for coming by on such short notice. So you know why we're here, right? Not really. You want to negotiate an extension for Freak, right? Well, since you mentioned it, your client is quickly becoming a liability for this organization. We've already put a plan in place that's going finish, to address Dom, all your concerns please, and issues. Please, let me finish. Thank you. Myself, the front office, and the coaches are not satisfied with the adjustments you've made in your life off the court. I personally warned you about the company you keep and we're fed up with the late nights and showing up late to shoot arounds and the bad press and the incident at the nightclub <sighs> i told you vic was going to be your downfall and i was right something has to change now or we're not going to need your services any longer hey, if this is about that twitter stuff vic was playing okay it was a joke it's not about that it's everything L like i told you before vic is my best friend I can't just cut him off. He's practically family. Not really. <laughs> what exactly are you trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything, Dom. I'm saying it. Freak and his friend Vic are a problem for me and this organization. And I called you in here to figure out how we all together can fix this problem. And right now, I'm only seeing one solution. I agree that freak may need to make some adjustments in his personal life off the court but that's a learning process we both know that but this this almost sounds like a threat and Dom Pagnotti doesn't take too kindly to threats is this a threat call it what you will we all know that Vic is a problem the only person who doesn't seem to realize that is my brother I'm sorry bro but enough is enough I don't have a problem with what you're saying I have a problem with how you're saying it now, I know we can come to some understanding without all the ultimatums or threats. Can we all come to a understanding, a compromise? No, no more compromises. I already warned Freak. I told you, don't be a hero. Cut that zero. It's cut Vic loose or we trade Freak. It's that simple. Fine, we'll go sign with another team. Good luck with that, Pagnotti. Because of Vic, Freak's reputation precedes him. No, because of Freak's God-given talent, his reputation precedes him. Everybody's been talking. Dom, you know how this works. This is not about you and me and our history. This is about your client. Help him. You're talking as if I'm invisible. You're talking around me, about me, but not to me. Vic has always had my back. And I've given this team everything I got. I practice hard. I play hard. Yeah, some nights I got it, some nights I don't. Some days I might even show up a little late to shoot around. But every time I'm on that call, I've always given my best. And I see how it is, though. I mean, us players got to be loyal to you, but you don't have to be loyal to us players. True. Try to give me some father and son talk, talking about how you love your players and how you look up for them. Come on, man. You trying to cut me off like you cut off Izzy. Don't you have people loyal to you no matter what? People you can't cut off? Well, that's me and Vic. Vic and me. Y'all insist, really. They can tell me stop hanging with Vic. What makes you think they won't tell me stop talking to you? Do you remember in seventh grade, some guys were trying to jump me over some girl. Vic wasn't wanting to get some friends just to walk me home. When they came, we went at it, but I wasn't alone. When I got my scholarship, it was Vic who put the word on the streets that nobody should mess with me because I had a future. Vic was protecting me. And sir, uh, I know, I know Vic is crazy. But before all the hype and the lights, media, fans, it was just me and Vic. So he's always been there. I mean, if y'all don't like that, I don't know what to say. It hurts me to say this, but I see his point. What you don't understand is that the league doesn't have your back anymore. Not like they used to. They try, but it's too much. Social media has changed True. everything. In this last incident with Vic, that was the final straw. It was a joke. It wasn't funny. You know it wasn't a joke. Vic was defending you, stepping in to protect your honor by attacking another teammate like that? 
talking about his manhood, his wife, his kids, his family, so you can be the big dog on the court? That's uncalled for. And they all know your relationship with Vic, so they think it's coming from you. But that's the media blowing everything out of proportion as usual. It's not just the media. He's attacking other players, other teams. He's out of control. Vic just doesn't know how to behave. We got guys on our squad who don't want to be here because of that beef. There is no place for that kind of inappropriate behavior in this league. If you can't trust your teammates, who can you trust? What Vic is doing isn't right. He's bringing you down, and people can see it. I see how all the other players are looking at you. Oh, it's not cool. It's not cool at all. What, don't talk to him? Don't hang with him? You do what you gotta do, that's your call. But let me tell you this. You asked me if I had friends that I couldn't cut off? Yeah, I did for a while. Friends business partners, girlfriends, wives, family that I thought I couldn't cut off. But I learned that sometimes you got to make the hard decisions. I mean, some of these people, they were just bad for me. They were bringing me down. They weren't making me better. They were good for the time that they were there. But I grew up, not in age and maturity, but in mind and spirit. I was ready for the next level in my life. And I'll be honest with you. I've been on the receiving end of that. I've been cut off before myself. And yeah, it hurt at the time. But... Looking back, they were doing the right thing for me. Just don't tell my ex-wife that, Pagnotti. So what's the next move? The next move is freaks. It always has been. Question is, is he ready and willing to do what needs to be done? This is messed up. You take a moment to think about it, but think long, think wrong. The snafu should have been cleaned up a long time ago. With or without you, we got games to win. Freak, got to handle your business. OK, we've all said our piece. He might cut me off as your manager, but I will always be your sister. So when this is on you, I might not like it, but I will respect any decision you make. Let's see if they give me the choice, though. Usually don't give me the choice to pick myself. Please. Our jawline so strong though. The female jawline in this game is strong. CC. Yvette. <laughs> Where's Dom? I had him call you. Why? I'ma cut right to the chase. My brother is deeply in love with you. And I'm ready to put our differences aside if you are. Really? On a string. I'm, I'm with it. Team Freak. Team Freak. All right, so if you're going to be down with the team, I got to show you the dap. Oh, the dap. Yeah. OK. <laughs> OK, so go. Oh. One, two. Swish. 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 Yeah. Again. Wait. Mm -hmm. Oh. OK. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, I should do so late though. I like that. Oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> Why does she actually want to hit her in the face still though? Ladies and gents, the plot has thickened. Hope you guys definitely enjoy. This storyline is getting better. They're getting longer. This cutscenes are getting longer and longer. But um, hope you guys definitely enjoy that. Putting this groundwork and um, see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah.